short version of this video. Friend someone, get chat, hang out often, don't be a jerk to them. For in-depth ways to increase your chances of making and keeping friends, continue watching. I have timestamps if you want to skip around. If you don't have any friends, try these steps. The first steps involve simply friending people in the first place. This isn't enough, however, and you will want to do more to hold on to them. If you already have active people in your constellation, but you don't know them, skip forward to the steps that are most relevant to you. 1. If you don't have friends in the first place in your constellation, go get some. The easiest place to find people will be in the prairie social area, idle wax spots, and wax events such as Geyser and Grandma's Table. 2. If you don't want to use candles, you can try to sit at tables with other people, get to know them a little bit, and use QR codes. Check the description for a video on how to QR. You can save a lot of candles this way and immediately unlock chat. 3. Don't make too many friends at once. It's hard to be able to forge relationships with people if you're trying to talk to too many people at once. 4. Once you've been hanging out with someone enough to where they start coming to you on their own, then it's time to start joining a new friend. Bring the friend or friends that are teleporting to you already with you, and everyone QR each other and get to know another new friend. Slowly grow and intertwine your friend group so that everyone knows each other at least a little bit. 5. Make friends with your friends' friends. The reason that you're getting nowhere is because you're friending random strangers that don't know each other. Friending your friends' friends also highly increases the chances of you having people that will regularly light your constellation, which helps you get hearts, for free by the way, just as long as you're lighting theirs. 6. For those of you that have friends in your constellation already but you don't really know who they are, go spend time with maybe one to three new people for a bit. Go get the name that they want to be called and their pronouns. The way that I like to name my friends goes by name, age, and pronouns. I use M for minor and 18 plus for adult. As for pronouns, I use T for they, S for she, H for he. For instance, if I friended myself, it would look like I do 18 plus T. Asking for age isn't required, and you should wait until someone's comfortable enough to ask. Or maybe they'll just volunteer the information on their own. It all works out. And seven, and this one's very important, regarding how you interact with others while talking, here are some ways that can make people more comfortable to be around you. Ask how they are when you see them. Remember some details about their life, like asking how their cat is doing after surgery. Be polite. Try using tone indicators to indicate sarcasm, and if something could be misunderstood, an indication that you're joking will help. Never make jokes at other people's expenses. Don't joke about people's real-life appearance or voice, whether you have or haven't seen or heard them. Never ask for location. Contrary is fine, but even asking for the state may be overstepping boundaries. Minors, never give out your email, phone number, address, a real name, and adults never ask for it. Someone not wanting to disclose their name, their age, their location, phone number or email is not an indicator of them not trusting you. If you know that they're a minor, don't ask for this. Even if they aren't a minor, don't ask for this. If you're an adult, you are responsible for encouraging your younger friends to not give out their personal information. Make sure that they know that even if they trust you, to never give it to you or anybody else. If somebody tells you that they're uncomfortable, apologize, say that you will change the subject, and then actually do as you say. Remember what brings them discomfort and then just simply don't do it. Try to include them in the conversation. It can be a little hard when the group gets too big while candle running, but try not to make people feel left out. When you've been talking for a few days and they seem more comfortable with you, Offer up a way to talk outside of Sky. TGC censors mentions of social media, so you're going to need to censor Discord and stuff by removing some letters. I'll give you some examples up on the screen of ways that you can shorten it. I like to use Disk the best because it's a little bit more easy to get across, but not everybody knows what that means, especially if they've never heard of Discord before, maybe they're from another country or something. The language barrier can be kind of rough for trying to get around that. 
Also, a lot of miners have actually told me that their parents aren't aware that Sky is a multiplayer game. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to play it at all. And so they're likely not going to be able to be allowed to talk to you somewhere else. So please respect when they say that they can't, don't want to, or if they're just uncomfortable with it. And no matter how well you get to know anyone, don't ask for free gifts. If they want to give you a gift, they will. Don't ask for free adventure passes. Don't ask for free hearts that you don't return. Don't ask for other in-app purchases. Don't ask them to drag you on a candle run to locations that they've already been to. Don't ask for free things. For Android users, you can use Gboard to translate in-game while talking to friends from other countries. Check the description for a video on how to install Gboard and how to use it. The video also includes tips and tricks on how to more accurately translate while talking to your friends. Try to actively avoid making people feel stupid. If someone doesn't know something that's considered basic knowledge, be polite and explain what it is without saying things like, how do you not know this? Shouldn't you know that by now? This is basic knowledge and shit like that. That's not going to earn you points with anyone. Don't be an asshole. This will embarrass them. This is a personal suggestion, but I think that a lot of us will agree. You may not want to friend someone if they said they're 10 years of age or younger. That's honestly just too young. Unless you also happen to be that young. Stay away from topics that are generally triggering, and also things that are gross or just generally upsetting. Remember, if someone else is saying things that are upsetting around you, or you around them, it's not rude for either of you to ask for a subject change, to be muted until it's over, or saying that you need to leave because you are uncomfortable. Respecting your boundaries and other people's boundaries will make other people really love to hang around you. The bar for happiness, unfortunately, and for comfort, is super duper low these days. So basic respect goes a long way when it comes to making good friends. Now that we've laid out basic human decency, Let's talk about Sky's specific behavior, starting with candle running etiquette, most of it about being AFK without being rude. If you have chat, say AFK before you leave. Not doing so is actually a problem and pretty rude. Your Uber needs to know that you're gone so they don't go to places that will definitely separate you. Don't go AFK with people that you don't have chat with. At least don't t totally go AFK. Be nearby your phone, tablet, or switch. If you don't have chat and go AFK, know that when you inevitably get separated by the server breaking up by crabs or weird glitches that separate you from the person dragging you, they're probably not going to wait on you. Please don't only work to people to go AFK. That's not nice. Some people might feel like they need to get wax that you missed, which they already have even though they shouldn't have to. And this is going to make them feel uncomfortable when you show up instead of excited to see you. Most people aren't going to want to go grab extra things or go to places that they've already been, so please don't ask. If they offer to take you, don't say yes. Thank them for the offer, but tell them that you can do it on your own. Offer for them to join you and visit if they want to, but be sure to be the one that's leading. Show them that you're interested in simply having them around and getting to know them and having them around will just help. If you have chat and you don't know the person well, Please do not go AFK at first. Talk to them for a few minutes. Ask about their day and such. Then if you need to go AFK, tell them about how long you're going to be gone and tell them if you get separated to just simply go on without you. Try to come back quickly so that you can spend time with them and show them that you're just not using them for a candle run. For friends that you're closer with, the rules are a bit more lax. Just don't forget to say that you're going AFK before you do it. And you need to take turns with your Uber. Offer to take over and help them. You should be the leader sometimes. If your friends if they, they need to leave, ask if that you can drag them while they're gone. They'll appreciate it a lot if you offer, even if they don't say yes, because everyone's got some things that they need to do outside the game. Like chores, homework, showering, using the restroom, and all that other garbage. Respect your friend's time. Take turns being the leader. If you have a big group, you can all rotate and choose which realms that you want to lead, which can also help stave off burnout. And it can also make you closer with these people. 
And you can also share tips and tricks with each other on ways to candor on even better. If you have their social media already, try inviting them for a candle on them, maybe for dailies or going to Eden or doing trials and stuff like that. Because places like the trials, tedious places, and also spots like the A-player door and prairie are just simply more appreciated if you've got a friend there. Also, I have a vault candle run in the link down in the description, and it will help you a lot. It can be done in 8 minutes if you follow my tips and tricks. And for my veterans in the chat, here are some tips for making friends when you're a veteran, because we just know that it gets harder. Friends leave because they're tired of Sky. So if you still play and you want to make friends and keep them like I did, here is what I did. Follow all of my previous guidelines laid out in the video. Make friends with mods. Help them learn how to play the game. Make sure to spend time with them, and soon they will be warping to you without you having to seek them out. Show them cool veteran tricks that you learned, like how to fly well, the fun glitches, take them to oobs. The best part? They will learn how to candle run doing this, and you can be able to get them to help lead a little bit for candle run so that you can go AFK if you need to. Just please don't friend people to get free ubers. Come on, man. The key thing to do in general is simply to make an effort and to care about your friend's feelings. Because the person on the other side of the screen is an actual living human being. It really does not have to be hard. I appreciate you guys staying for this long and I want to thank you for the amount of subscribers that I've gained in such a short amount of time. At the time of recording this video, I'm actually at 1,530 subscribers, but it may actually already be more than that by now. I hope that this video helps make a difference for you while you're trying to make friends. Remember to check the description for all sorts of videos that are referenced during this video that will help you out. And also check out this playlist and this other video that will help you learn a little bit about the game and will help you be able to do much better. I'll see you in the next one.